Hey guys, today is June the 26th of 2020 and I want to make a quick video on some signals and some uh, trading uh, indicators I've been using lately and I've been really liking it so I figure I'll uh, make a video now that I have some time and show you some of the stuff that I've been using. Uh, I'm going to make it really quick so here we go. The indicators on this chart is simple moving averages. The yellow one is a uh, 20. This one is a 50, the gray one dashed is a 100, and the green one is a 200. The next uh, thing I have is the uh, John Carter's trend indicator, where it highlights all the candles that are bullish or uptrending white. Uh, and if they're bearish, they, they're uh, colored all red. The next thing I have is these uh, arrows, the yellow and the blue. Those are the uh, John Pearson uh, PPS signal. And I have the Darvis box, which I'm sure a lot of people have, the Darvis box indicator. And then this is a one that I got from the internet. It's a uh, proprietary. Um, and I can't remember who I who created or who made it, but some programmer made it. It's a little different from the Darvis, but it's kind of like it. And I think it's actually even better. Um, so I use those, and then that's it. And then on the bottom, I have the TTM squeeze indicator from John Carter. So the strategy is, is that when you, you look at this in the time frame that you trade, this is the daily of the pound dollar, you can see that prices right here have been stagnated. They've been compressed, like there's no life. It's just kind of really slow moving back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, this is daily. And once you get like a green, that's telling you to go long and definitely in the momentum of this histogram. So it's showing that it's a histogram going up. You buy it here on the uh, 14, and this is the way I use it. And when you get a dark blue on the 17, you get out. And that's it. Unless you're using GAN stuff, you could kind of lock in more of the date. But if you're not using GAN stuff, then this would be the way to use it. This is the way I use it. Um, and then the next thing would be, see like right here you can see sometimes it doesn't work because you see prices were stagnated it gave you a false signal here it gave you a nice pop it was a head fake on uh, april 30th and then it, it sold off you want to go in the direction of the squeeze so sometimes if you're you know more risky you could get in before the green um indicator and get in while you see the momentum of the history where i'm going short and if you do some price and time analysis uh, you think the 18th is going to be the swing low, then you get out. Um, or you get out when you see the yellow here. Um, next thing is that if you would have gone, you know, the traditional way, once the green signal kicked in, you only had like two days and then it reversed, popped up, came down, and then shot up. Uh, and then the other way to do is to, is to trade the color changes. So no matter what's going on, when it's yellow, you, you know, you look at the right time frame you want to get in. Uh, you wait for a pullback or whatever your strategy is, and you get in and you go long. And then you get out at the color change on the dark blue. So that's one strategy. Uh, you trade the color change. The other one is you trade the squeeze play. So I look at both in my analysis. I look at the squeeze. I look at prices being compressed, especially when you have the Darvis box. You see the range. It's going here, and then it broke right down, popped up, resistance from the uh, prior uh, support, pulled back, and then shot up. Uh, and the same thing here. You can see that sometimes there's some sell signals, and it just it just chops around, but this is the time frame on the daily. Uh, and what I do is I make a big, uh, like a template, if you want to call it. You know, this isn't think or swim. And I have it for different time frames. I have the monthly, the weekly, the daily, the uh, 12 hour, the four hour, the one hour, 30 minutes, and the uh, 15. 15 and 30 is for entry points um, to, you know, narrow in, snipe in my position where I want to get in. And then the one hour, you know, four hour, you know, and all these up. So the monthly kind of tells me, you know, what's going on on the bigger picture within the pound dollar. As you can see on the monthly, that prices since December, I mean, it could probably be further back, but since December is getting 
compressed. Like, we're not really going anywhere. This is the range. 35.13 all the way to 14.09. And we're somewhere right now at 23.47. We failed at the uh, simple moving average 20. And you can see, like, this nice selling pressure. So this kind of support here, the support here, the support here. So this is what's going on. And it was showing that, you know, a pressure is wants to explode to the upside on the bigger picture. But now, on this month in June, looks like things have changed. Uh, is it going to push lower? Well, we'll see. Uh, and then on the weekly, you see that it's the same thing, it, like the explosion. Uh, once we did this low here on uh, March the 20th, uh, and this is the weekly, uh, that things want to explode to the upside as the monthly. See, like the momentum is like we want to go higher. Um, and then on the daily, you can see that we put a high on the on the uh, 10th. I was thinking maybe we were going to do it on the 19th or the 23rd. That didn't happen. And now we're kind of selling off, um, kind of holding off right here, you know, at this, uh, could be a bu dub double bottom here. We'll see. And then, you know, you go on with your analysis, the 12 hour, you can see that on the one hour, it was a squeeze play, uh, prices got compressed. And then at eight o'clock today, you got a sell signal and this thing just dropped and now it found support and now it's bouncing. Uh, and then the same thing. Sometimes you could do a little scalp play. It got compressed right here, and you could have sold off right here. And as soon as the uh, change uh, uh, color on the histogram changed to yellow, you just get out. That's it. You just get out, and you see that it got a nice pop. So that's one of the first things I wanted to show you that I have. When I'm trading, doing my analysis, I pop this in and just look and see what's going on, whatever instrument I'm trading, and just see, okay, so prices are compressed here. Prices have been compressed on the monthly. Or on the daily, on the weekly, and the, on the thirty minute, and then I kind of see where I want to gauge in and you know scalp or or get in a position for a couple of days. The next uh, thing I wanted to show you is uh, trading view. This is one of one of my favorite uh, trading uh, programs I have online. It's free to sign up. My uh, name is uh, Gan Analysis. I haven't uh, signed up for the for the package, but you could use it. Um, it's 30 day free trial. If you want to give it a shot, I like the, uh, the free version. And what I like about this, uh, software, uh, online, uh, training software is that they got a screener and it's called the Forex screener. Once you click on that, uh, it should open up. And when I'm doing my analysis and I'm thinking of doing, going short or going long or, you know, seeing where I could do a quick scalp or whatever, right before I do that, I always want to see what's going on uh and this is just a quick confirmation am i going against the trend am i with the trend am i shorting and what i do is uh for the free you only could do the monthly weekly and and uh the daily the weekly and the monthly on the uh smaller time frames you need to subscribe and have an account so what i do is on the daily like i'm trading the pound i got a strong sell signal on the daily and you can see on the swiss strong and on the yen is the sell. On the weekly, I got a strong sell, sell signal on the pound, the Swiss, and the yen. And on the monthly, I have a strong sell signal on the pound, the Swiss, and the yen. When I'm about to place a trade, I see that. All right, I'm in the right direction. Uh, everything is lining up with, with the uh, trade following system. And it's a confirmation. It gives me confidence. It's like, all right, if 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 all goes well, I'm on the right side. And if it goes against me, then fine. It, it just happens, part of trade. But at least I'm not like going long when there's a strong sell on something. For whatever reason, my analysis is telling me, yeah, you got to go. You know, you got to go against the trend or whatever. I mean, that does happen. But I prefer when everything is lining up, cycles are, po are pointing down, analysis is pointing down. Whatever it is that you're pointing, you know, uh, moving averages, whatever, everything is just indicating prices are going lower. I like to get on that wave and ride it. Oscillators, I haven't really had much success. Uh, An overview is the same thing, I guess, like condense, but use the same thing monthly, weekly, and daily. And I think uh, this, you know, right before you place a trade, it could tell you, hey, you know, if whatever you're going to do, if you're going to go long the pound, you might as well have a tight stop because you don't want to get, you know, butchered up. So those are the little things I wanted to show you on this video. And uh, hopefully you like it. I'll keep you posted on more stuff that I'm, I'm researching and analyzing.
And there's a, there's a thing I wanted to show uh, my next video about the pound on the hourly trade that I found a pattern that's really cool. I'll keep you posted. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again.